because I can't stop. <laughs> it's the devil. You you cough that devil out. Oh my god! I think I just need water. But you want ahead. some coffee? No. Hello and welcome. You can just do it because I just have to tell people I'm doing a podcast so they won't call. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier, your boy, your man, your being. I am preoccupied. (laughs) I'm post-occupied. And this here is Frank, who he's been having himself a little day, a little lounge day. He's in the, uh, he's in the, um, what do you call those things? robe is, yeah. <laughs> i didn't know that's what you meant <laughs> those fancy robes yeah. he's in a robe he's just preparing himself for tomorrow mm-hmm. you know thursday's not his day <laughs> so he's waiting for tomorrow fun friday yeah. um summer's coming to a close and that's okay i'm not saying in a oh bad. oh my gosh <laughs> you're the timekeeper <laughs> i'm not saying in a bad way because do you know what's after summer the timekeeper that's a good book never read it spencer we read it didn't we read it everybody like a book club not me the timekeeper oh yeah yeah it was a good book um ah, sustenance um i don't have any we i completely lost my train of thought frank robe preparing for friday oh yeah summer timekeeper Mm. so summer's coming to an end and i say that a lot in a negative way yeah and we're living up every last moment of summer we're enjoying the sun it's great but fall is right around the corner and that's good too yeah so don't take summer being almost over as a negative as oh no everything's coming to an end new beginnings yes think about the campfires think about the long sleeves i got a lot of long sleeves that have been in the closet for a while that need to be pulled out okay um what else the holidays let's be honest fall and and winter have the best holidays yes because they need them yes so when you know we're talking all that stuff we're not gonna talk about it yet because it's still august but every time i say summer's almost over guys don't look at it in despair look at it in hope yes it's a circle you need balance i started balance off earlier today usually i wait till the end to bring out balance and then we say we did a podcast on it yeah um but so yeah Summer's almost over, and that's awesome. Labor Day. Live the best days. Are you going somewhere for Labor Day? When's Labor Day? Labor Memorial Day starts the summer. Labor Day ends the summer. When is it? I'm going to say... September? Sounds like a September holiday. Where's our big chart, remember? Yeah. I think it's a Monday, one of those Monday holidays. I'm going to say... You want to take guesses? I think it changes. Yeah, so let's just take a guess for 2021 Labor Day. Okay, I'm going to say... You go first. I'll go like one day after I'm going to say it's the Monday after the last day of August. Okay, so give me a date. You're saying like September 1st. September 1st. Okay. I'll say September 13th. That's so far. You don't go to school that late. Well, my You go th- to school after Labor Day. I think the latest it could be would be like the 4th. Yeah, well, I mean, the fall actually starts like what? September 21st? I know, but this is unofficial. I'm saying September 13th. You know, it's the it's the holiday you, you liked least on our holiday podcast, remember? Because you said... It's a fake holiday. Yeah, you were like, all workers everywhere. Yeah, like, it's mm-hmm. like, okay, we need to make an end of summer. You said England does it right, where they just have like Bank a... holiday. Yeah, and it's just called like the end of summer holiday. Mm-hmm. We have to make up things. Like, oh no, this is celebrating you, the hard worker. It's like, no, it's not. You People just needed a labor. day off. <laughs> People in labor. Uh, shout out to everyone who's in labor right now watching the podcast. <laughs> Um, we'll be in labor just keep for the on, next two weeks. Keep on pushing. Yeah. What? <laughs> keep on pushing. <laughs> uh, if you're in labor for two weeks. Yeah. I feel like this would be a nice little podcast to watch while you're in labor. Yeah. If you're just, you know, get your mind off things. Or even if you're not wanting to watch it, definitely the people with you want to watch it because I've been. <laughs> the, the dad. <laughs> yeah. Holding one hand in one hand. Well, no. Watching Kirk and Kirk in the other. Okay. So I was. Kirk and Kirk. I have been in um, labor rooms mm. with people in labor and the the woman is laboring for many many hours where nothing yeah. is happening for everyone else i think we should go back in time is this sexist i don't know i'll say it anyway um back in the old like native american days mm-hmm. where they had the uh the tent and like men were not allowed in there it was oh. like because it was like sacred they they i, I learned it in our history because they found you know how you don't like believe in archaeologists because yeah. you're like they it, make it up. Yeah, they they find something and oh, you're just gonna tell they, me they definitely make it up. So this was like some sort of totem, and I was learning that it was a like a birth house totem that was in there. 
to promote fertility and Well, who's labor. this helping? What? You said you want them to bring it back. No. I, I respectfully, I think what women do are awesome. I think baby birthing is magic. Never want to say it. But in my defense, I'm a lady, and I had to see, I had to see someone else's. Yeah, I know, and that's your choice, and it's a beautiful thing to witness. Well, it's a man's choice too. Yeah, you could tell your wife, like, I'll meet you later. <laughs> well, yeah, I just want to choose not to. And before you guys come at me and say, "Who do you think you are?" I don't want to see anything, Mister Good. You stuff, you go to the Mr. hospital a lot, Mister Big Stuff, for even just like minor <clears throat> things. You you take you're you're very um caretakery. You'll take people for. Uh, you know, yeah. my my thumb. I have, I have a thumb ache. Okay. I don't like anything that has to do with the body. I I don't want to see uh uh ingrown fingernail. Yeah. Does that happen? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to know any of it. Well, maybe you should try to walk towards your your fears. <laughs> Just start walking into the labor and delivery. I'm here don't to face my fears. Let don't, me in. Don't do that. You'll get arrested. <laughs> no. But maybe yeah. I mean, who Just knows? Just embrace it. Who knows? I'm I'm also young. I don't need to think about, think about labor. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not even the kind of labor that is on Labor Day. Oh, that's not what Labor Day is about. Moving on. Um, did you do anything cool in the past 24 hours? <laughs> uh, I, you know, you hate when I talk about storms, <clears throat> but we're, we're just being hit with storms so bad. There was I know. another tornado warning last night, flood alert, and all of this. Uh, I don't remember the other summers being this bad. Global warming. Why did I bring it up? Or maybe government controls weather. I've been saying. I think the government is trying to kill off the older generation because all of the younger people are getting the warnings on their phone and all the older people aren't. Now, before we start making conspiracies about the government murdering the elderly, older people, bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Spiritual podcast. Thank you. Um. Old people also don't really know how to use their phones. I don't know hear how to hear an alert. I, I get. Oh the, wait, you're the older person. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant like, like elder, like oh, your retirement homes. No, me. What would they? Why would they want to kill? You're like the the people that keeps America moving. I don't know, but uh, if anything, but they would take it off the Gen Z. Someone half my age said, "Did you get the tornado alert?" And I said, "No." And they said, "Either did this other parent." And I said, "Why didn't we get it?" Why can't we? Why can't we shelter in place or whatever we're supposed to do? I know. I saw. The, I got a flash flood warning, and I don't know if I don't normally read it or if it was different. But it was like, stay right where you are, and like all these things. I'm like, whoa, settle down. It's just a little rain. You know, how powerful no, water not is. Yeah. You know, how powerful water is. So it's so powerful. I think we had a water podcast. We did a long time ago. A long time ago. Talked about the power of water. Mm. <coughs> I don't know what's happening. I think the government has been slipping stuff in your drink. <laughs> They're out to get you. Yeah. Um. Anything else? Any any divine inspiration? You see anything that was like, wow. Yes, the um, Pope. I sent it to you. Did you read it? No. Why not? It didn't get the alert on my phone. I sent you an important post that... Um, a Pope post? A Pope post. It's very important. The Pope is running wild since he came out of the hospital. P boyfriend, you gotta love him. Catholic Pope is there only just there's just a Catholic Pope. Yeah. Okay. Um. So he came out and he had his operation, right? Then yeah. he said, "Um, stop with the Latin Mass." People went crazy. Then he said, "Get vaccinated." Mm. People went crazy. Then he said, "Maybe we shouldn't focus so much on the law anymore. Maybe we should just be the." evolved christians that we should be and focus on love i'm gonna be honest i think he watches croak and crow i think he does spencer i think he watches croak i think and he crow. does, I mean, I just I think he does. hey po i know you're watching <laughs> what's up people friend i saw you in 2015 <laughs> um hell he yeah said exactly hell yeah. exactly go what boyfriend we say he's the men people went crazy Pe- i bet people said i'm not um catholic anymore yeah, basically, it's it's like an Instagram account, and it says, I'm unfollowing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the funny thing about it is it puts these conservative Catholics in such a bind because, how do I put this? Them going against it is also going against their orthodox right. teaching. It's not like, if they if these conservative 
like if they watch our podcast, they could be like, I'm unsubscribing. Right. I go by letter word by word. Yeah. Letter. When the Pope who in your in your conservative beliefs is in the your closest point training to God. He is infallible. Mm-hmm. Okay. So people are different. I mean, I think the best thing that Benedict did was step down. I know. Imagine because people are friends who have been told. Now, I wonder. Did he step down or was he taken down? I don't think he was taken. I mean, listen, if you watch two popes, I let that loose facts uh, be my brainchild of what actually happened there. Okay. Because it makes it nice and divine and lovey. Okay. But um, where I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'll spoil it for you. It's kind of old. Yeah. <laughs> two popes is on Netflix. I recommend watching it. But in the the movie... Pope Benedict, who's a conservative um, pope, there was two things. One, <coughs> his like a uh, his side guy exposed a lot of letters showing that he was turning a blind eye towards some of the things happening in the church. But the other thing is, as much as he sort of resented P Boy Friends' progressive views, he had an epiphany that he hasn't heard like the Lord's words in a while. And he sees it in people are friends. So he's like, this is something that needs to happen. Like, right. you, you need to lead the church. But now my point that I was going to make, I'm going to make now. Do you think that surgery, do you think P-Boy Fran has a view? Because he, I feel like as progressive as he is, has his hands in a bind. Yeah. Because. I can't stop. <laughs> it's the devil. You, you cough that devil out. Oh my God. I think I just need water. But you want ahead. some coffee? No. Stop it. Um. Do you think so? He's like has this layout of like this is what I would like to see. This is where I would like to see the church bay. Do you think that surgery was a little bit of a human call of like I have limited time to I get do the, think that. to get the church of where I needed. I be. do think that. Um, when I first looked and I said he did the Latin thing and and then did the vaccine thing and then he did the law thing. I thought you are coming fast and furious here, and the people like. We talked about a rubber band episode. We talked about not wanting the rubber band to break. Yeah. You want to stretch it, but you don't want to break it. I said, he's moving so quickly. Did you see also the other mystery when he took the phone call during the um, appearance? No. Okay. That, if anybody knows what that was, please, please comment. Where's all our Vatican's? Hey, the Pope watches us. He might tell us. Yeah, please tell DM us. DM us. DM our Instagram. At I forgot about that. So it was the operation. He came out. Then it was the thing. It was before the vaccine. He was giving, he always does his appearances and he always has his security very close. And you even see like the, um, the guy in the stripes, you know, yeah. Vatican guard. And he's given a speech or whatever. Literally the bodyguard hands him a phone. Everyone's like, it should be an iPhone um, ad, right? Because it's an iPhone. Um, hands him the phone. And he, he goes, one minute. And so never happens ever. This has never happened. He takes a phone call. Then says, I'll be back. And he leaves for a few minutes, leaves the stage, and, uh, the altar, whatever it was, whatever he was on, and came back. So that was another mystery. I think he was on the phone with the big old G.O.D. upstairs. I don't know. And so, yes, I do think it was really quickly. And I I would, I would, have to connect the dots that he he might feel, I want these things to, to happen. And, and who knows how close even his operation was. Mm-hmm. That <clears throat> And he thought... The things I haven't done that I wanted to do. Yeah. Because that was really, really brazen to say that. But like I was saying, if you're a Catholic, it's for the people who aren't Catholic. The Pope is infallible. So whatever he says. That's a big word. What does that mean? It means he can't be wrong. Mm. He has the inability to be wrong. Whatever he says is the word of God. Mm. It's the word of God. So for the people, like you said, you're saying the Pope's not being Catholic enough. Well, you're not being Catholic by saying the Pope's not being Catholic enough. No, ain't that song, though. I was happy he said it. People were going crazy. Um, and he's just standing strong. He stand- I also wonder, <laughs> along with... So, the one theory is he got out of surgery and was like, I need to do all this. I also wonder, with all the backlash from the few things, was he just like, listen, I'm going to do my, my things. Like... Was it like tiptoe and tiptoe and then you had this huge backlash of just the Latin mass and he's like, just keep... I don't know. Keep on. We can't find out. We can once he DMs our Instagram. <laughs> I wish he would because when I read that, I said, okay, wow. 
That's exactly what. What a steal our message. That's exactly what. Because I was like, am I reading this right? I sent it to you. Yeah, you I'll I'll read that. You didn't read it. You will read it now. Well, yeah. Yeah. After post podcast productions. Okay. Um. So that's what happened. Anything else happened? Uh. Hey, yesterday I was talking about um. <laughs> I was talking about, I took a trip to Florida and one of the things I did was I rented a moped and I had so much fun. I'm like, well, I couldn't own one here. You know, my own self doubt and and (laughs) worry. And I'm like, yeah, one day, one day it's a dream because you never see any mopeds around here. You don't. It's just not something that people have. No. I just go outside before the podcast. The, The neighbor up the street is just zipping on his nice light blue Vespa. That's why you have to do... And he's a cool guy too. He's a cool guy. He's a he's a lacrosse coach. Yeah. Um. I think he actually played like a high level yeah. lacrosse. Um. Bunch of kids. And has a big truck, indoor gym. He has a okay, life. Okay, he's going to your stalker, by the way. <laughs> when, he, when he watches this. <laughs> Which part was the stalking part? He has an indoor gym. Oh well, he leaves his curtains open. Neighbor. <laughs> no, we knew the people who lived there before. He also had. They also had. If he still has it, they also have a private bar in the basement. Oh, do they? Yeah. Um. Doesn't leave that window open. No, <laughs> I don't know if it has windows. It's the basement. Basement. Oh. Um. Yeah. So that's why you should always do what you want to do mm. because I and I have always said that if you don't do what you want to do when someone else does it, you're going to feel jealous. Yeah, I mean, how many you're times? Like, I was gonna do that. Yeah, how many times do you have that with like inventions? Like, oh, I, I that was literally my idea. It's with anything. I was gonna it's do with, that. If it, 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 it's like you don't want to shave your legs, right? Mm-hmm. But you say I have to shave my legs because that's so weird. Da, da, da. Next thing, there'll be some really cool chick who doesn't shave her legs, and it's like she's so cool, she's so cool. Then you do it, and they'll go, "Oh, you're just trying to be yeah. like her." It's like or fashion. You always, you always see it with fashion. Anything. Like, the first person who wore, you know, skinny jeans was like, ugh, and then. It became cool. Now it's not even cool anymore. I'm always back to that. How skinny jeans are out of fashion. Not for guys, for girls. Who cares? Which is weird because they what they used to call mom jeans are now Gen Z jeans. I know. Fashion is so, dumb. So mom Everyone jeans. Everyone knows about fashion. Fashion expires the minute it's on the shelf. I know. That's why I think it's always so silly when people are like, you used to wear that back then? It's like. They're going to say it's that. It's a Actually, huge no. the, pet peeve of mine. The old white tee is timeless. No, it's a huge, huge, huge pet peeve of mine. For every single solitary person to look back at photos and say, who let me have my hair like that? Who let no. me dress like, like, you looked like every single solitary person in society at that time. Yeah. Like, lit. Yeah. It'd be more strange if you had this fashion of today back then. It'd be like, what were you wearing? Why are you wearing that? Yeah. It's just crazy. The white, and the white tee is timeless. It's just better not to look at photos. Yeah. The um, Native Americans... Back in the day, didn't like photo. I could be making this up, but I saw it on Instagram. Well, there's so many tribes that you could be like, well, it's not the uh, tribe you're thinking about. It's not a mainstream tribe. <laughs> um, didn't like photographs when they were introduced to them mm-hmm. by the um, settlers because they believed if you had a photograph, it was like taking a part of your soul because now like you're there, but you're also here. Oh, right. So every time you got a photo. So me, nowadays, Instagram and stuff, I'm like... I'm like Voldemort with a bunch no, of Horcruxes It regenerates. Um, yeah. I like photos. I think they're nice, you know? Back in the day, it's like... I think it's kind of weird, though, right? Like, even for you, who are so old... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> like, you, you can go through your... Um, I don't know. Would you take, like, the... With the glass broke? Yeah, with the birdie. No, but you have your, um, like, digital... Yeah. Um, pronouns... But, like, imagine the next generation of kids. Like, I have Instagram posts of me when I was 14 being yeah, a goofball. I know. Like, like wacky in the videos and stuff. And it's like, it's going to be so weird when, when this, not even Gen Z, under them, what comes after Z? I heard that the N symbol was, used to be in the alphabet as... Ampersand? Yeah. There's a whole story about ampersand was part of the alphabet and, and use like x y z and the original way of saying it was like per per zand or something ah. and so you would say n per i don't know <laughs> what was i saying that you want to see photos of of the yeah people so the, the next generation generation ampersand the reason i don't like photos is because um i lose so many of them so i don't want to get attached to something that would break my heart Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. Now they're all 
on the internet and stuff. Yeah, but I lose them on the internet. Oh, you mean like on a, on a platform? What if the platform closes, like MySpace? You're just really negative today. Okay, we're 20 minutes in. But we I'm have not, not even brought up a topic. It's time to Maybe dance. Maybe we should just stop doing topics. It's Chat. time to dance. Walk through Thursday. It's walk through Thursday, everybody. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. What's going on, guys? It is walk through Thursday. Thursday. You know what we did. <laughs> did no, no, no. I said, no, I said something. No. Let's hear it. Let's no, hear it. No. We go through the Bible. We open up the Bible. We go through it. Paragraph by paragraph. I don't think you say paragraph. Whatever. Verse by verse. Sentence by sentence, word by word, letter by letter, sound then, by sound. And they got to make one up, like some weird, weird niche. Oh, one. okay. Um, <laughs> ampersand by ampersand. I okay, don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we do, guys. We've been rambling on, so it's going to be a short one today, but that's okay because the Bible verse is a short one. Bible vortex verse. Bible vortex verse. <laughs> so kind of a vortex. We get sucked into it. True. It's yeah. not, are all vortexes bad? No. I don't know. But the point of today is we look at a Bible verse and we don't just brush over it. We don't just say, and that's a Bible. Bah, 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 bah. We don't just have it hanging on the wall right next to your live, you laugh, You know, because love. you, once something's on the wall, uh, you then don't see it anymore. You don't see it anymore. It disappears. There's stuff on the wall. There's a mistletoe over there. No, that's been there, there since is, Christmas. There is. <laughs> it, it, it disappears to you. Yeah. That's why they have the new, the new frames, which the photo keeps changing. Mm. It's like you know, like nose blind. People have talked about nose yeah. blind. You can go <laughs> I blind. I blind. <laughs> you can go blind. Um but yeah, so we want to just look at it and slow it down because that's what it's about. Am I wrong? You're right. What are um, we talking about today? I sneezed earlier. God bless you. Yeah, you God oh. blessed me. And did you God bless me because I'm a good, nice person? It's because I'm I'm uh reactionary blind i just said it okay well usually you would say you would god bless somebody who um, is a nice person right even if somebody does something nice you could god bless you you know it's like you should be you should god bless people that are not nice really oh, oh <laughs> did i just walk into it heck yeah <laughs> he's crunching his ice into the into shout the... out my our <laughs> subscribers um all right we're reading Luke 6.28. Now, let's just get into it. Yeah. Um. Usually it's like printed out. This is written out. Listen, means, I... Um, ooh, I like it. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Yeah. Ain't that something? That's words that people need to live by. Yes. And I'm not saying... I'm not pointing fingers here. I'm saying me too. Yeah. I am pointing fingers. <laughs> the finger's getting pointed back at me. We... I think that's such an important thing. Yeah. And we talk about it a lot of when people are so divisive and it's like, well, I know and you don't. And it's like, you should be praying, especially praying for the people who are mistreating you. Why? Because they need Jesus. Okay. If they're going to go against me. <laughs> no. Um, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not questioning you, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying, tell us why this is, you know. Because we are so conditioned to reward, ki reward, yeah. And so, if you look at the ninety-nine sheep um, parable all the time, which is there was ninety-nine sheep, one went away, and the shepherd goes and finds that one sheep. Mm -hmm. We are so conditioned to reward each other for being in the ninety-nine sheep. Look at you doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. God bless you. Right. God bless you, sir. You're doing God's work by yes. staying in this pack. You're doing your hard work. You're doing your hard work. When in reality, we should be praying and blessing our brother who is not in the same line, you know, who's astray. And whether you be just blessing him for being God's child or praying for him to find his way back. Right. Like, it doesn't always have to be like, you don't, you don't love, you have to love everything. So you have to love everything someone's doing. Right. But at least be like, instead of hating. Since you're already thinking about them. Exactly, they're they're on your mind. They right. own free real real estate in your mind, right? And so use it as a you pray for them, right? Because at the end of the day, it's your brother or sister or cousin, and it's a great Christ. it's a great um it's a great exercise. You know, you love to exercise. Trying to get back. You in know it. who else used to love to exercise? Billy Graham. I talk Billy about Graham. him a lot. Stop saying that. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you. Look it up. We're going to have Billy Graham Friday. That's okay. it. Um. 
But anyway, uh, it's a good exercise because mm. it's hard to do. And it is hard to do. What, uh, I feel, this is my own opinion, but a lot of times if when you're saying like, God bless you, or I'm going to pray for you, or you know, you make, an, you make um, a statement about somebody like, you are God's child. Yeah. You, you're kind of up here with it. Yeah. Like, I'm in a position to bless you. I'm in yeah. a position to make this statement for God. When someone is mean to you, so this even says mistreats you. Mm-hmm. So someone might curse you, but mistreat you. That could be physical. That I could guess. be like, hello, why did you just hit me? Yeah, why did right? you smack me in the face? Um, you feel small when people do that. You yeah. feel like um, inferior to mm-hmm. them. And therefore, you don't feel like in a position anymore to bless the person. But if you practice that, so I'm feeling inferior right now. I'm feeling, mm-hmm. I'm feeling mistreated. But now I'm going to turn around. I get bigger. Yeah. Because I'm I'm practicing my spiritual strength. Yeah. No. Seriously. It's and yeah. Um. You know. It also brings a peace. I would mm. say. Like when you are feeling small. Not immediately, probably. Like I to, think to do it in that second, you probably I would I my own self. I would probably I would probably be pushing against it, even though I'm doing it. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Because if no, you're talking about real mistreatment, not just not just a push. Like, what if someone really mistreats you? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, human, humanly, you want to get out of the situation. Yeah. But No, I mean, then, I mean, like, how would you feel? Like, what did you just say? You would feel, what about it? Uh, I said it would bring you peace, but I'm right. saying you uh, it needs to be worked on. And, yeah. and, and, like, I'm saying eventually yeah. you get to a point. Yeah. Because in the beginning, it's so easy to stew up anger and hold a grudge. And then the next time you see him, it's like, Ugh, that's a person. Uh, I wish they would just fall in a hole yeah. and die. Right. But if you, yeah, it, it, like it, in the nicest way possible, if someone's like really mistreating you, it does kind of make you like almost a little like you walk with a little swag. Yeah. Like, listen. Has you're, anyone you're ever tried? Of, you're one of God's children. I pray you find your way of not mistreating people. And you know what? God bless you. Has anyone ever tried to, a, a, so a third party, they try to bring someone up to you because they think they'll get a rise up uh, out of you, right? Oh, yeah. And they'll say like... <clears throat> I saw um, Walter. Santa. Or mommy kissing Santa Claus. I saw Walter. Or or guess who's coming tonight, Walter. Yeah. Um, if I don't know if you've ever had this uh, thing that I have where I could care less. But they don't know that. And they're thinking I'm going to be like, what? You know, they're going to think my energy's up here. And I'm like, and, I, and I'm not even lying. It's like, oh, I don't care about that. And it's like, what do you mean? He, he keyed your car. You know, and it's like, oh, I'm good. It's because it you just said it brings you peace. Like, that's a peaceful place to be. Yeah, it is a peaceful place to be, and I, I, yeah, I think it, it's it's a much more peaceful life if you view everyone through the lens of God's children, right? And you cannot associate with people, yes, and, and definitely. When, and when you are staying away from them for their negative energy, you can be if they are on your mind instead of being like, like a lot of people, you know, you that you don't realize are living rent free inside your head, and you're just thinking about them right. anytime you see them it's like that person but yeah if you just change the perspective of being one confident in yourself as god's child or just a, as a human being on this earth and you see them and so you put yourself no matter what in life has made you resent them yes when you put yourself on that level playing field and it's like listen i'm not gonna let this bother me god bless them i pray that they figure their, themselves out. Right. Then you can walk away from it. And right. there's not, nothing more to stew. I feel like it's a very earthly thing. Yes. To stew over people. Because it's right. like, what is it for? If they if they didn't mistreat you, that's earthly. Yeah. If, you know, any of the, the seven deadly sins, you know, if like you're envious or... Right. Um, I don't know. You you look at them for like, oh, look at all their... They have too much pride. Right. All these things. Judgment. So, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. it's, it's so earthly. and. To change it and put yourself on that level playing field and, and bring God into the mix. Yeah, that's a great point. Bring God into the mix because if you have an entanglement, as uh, Will Smith, well, Jada, Jada Pink Smith, Philadelphia friend, um, if I have an entanglement with with this person, it's it's he and I. It's like the infinity loop. Yeah, and it's like you really do feel some kind of, a toxic connection. Once you bring God into bring it, a little moderator, into you it. realize wait. He's connected there. I'm connected yeah. here. We're connected here. It's not, we're not just handcuffed over here. No. 
Break the handcuffs. Break the handcuffs on this walk through Thursday. And everyone, check out. You know, if you're going to put anything up on your wall next to your Live, Laugh, Love poster, make it this one. I think that'll be a nice for Like, because that's not one you usually see. Yeah. I'm talking. You guys know what I'm talking about. Because it comes up in over houses and over and over. You, you yeah. Have, like a canvas with yeah, a Bible verse. They sell them at like you know TJ Maxx, like Bed yeah. Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath and Beyond. It's yeah. usually yeah. It's like. You know, bless this home. Oh, right. Love, love the love, love one. Love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I kind of like bless those who cur- Maybe we should sell them. Make some of them. Okay. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Yeah. Right above your fireplace. Or on Does anyone still have fireplaces? Yes. Right. What a statement. That's a crazy <laughs> statement. <laughs> I guess they do. That's a crazy statement. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> <laughs> um... We, we hot had a, take get it we we had a hot fireplace but it didn't work us in this house mm-hmm. it was a gas one and i don't like those i don't even know the difference well it's gas not wood oh so it's fake it's not fake because it's real flames but it's made from- we'll just turn your stove on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um if you have a gas stove all right well that was walk through thursday guys um hope you liked it if you didn't like it, then don't curse me, but bless me. And Francis. Not him. Pope Francis. Oh, I didn't realize that they share a name. Well, oh. Mm, well, I know who you're being for Halloween. What was the phone call about? What was the phone call about, guys? What was it about? P-Boy Fran, if you're watching this, you let us know. We um, won't tell. We won't tell. <laughs> Lips are sealed. The only person who might tell is Frank. But <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow for... Um, walk through friday uh, what's his name it's gonna be billy graham friday billy graham friday <laughs> and um yeah just try try a little, little experiment next time someone's living in your head rent free someone in the in the mcdonald's line in front of you yeah it's taking too long don't curse them bless them food for thought thought for food peace